interested in understanding the best models for care delivery on labor and delivery. And so as this model of providing care has been in contrast to what has been done for decades, which is the traditional OBGYN doctor runs from his office or her office, delivers a baby, runs back to his or her office. That's sort of the way that we all know and have watched obstetrics be delivered on TV and around us. And all of a sudden that changed dramatically for a variety of reasons. And so understanding whether the claims that were being made about these changes were actually true and whether this evolution makes sense um, has been just an interest of mine. So what's already known about this subject is actually surprisingly very little. Despite the fact that we have over 4 million births a year in the United States, and they happen 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we don't really know what the optimal coverage model is for providers on labor and delivery. Our paper is an exciting first step towards rigorous research in looking at the impact of laborists or OBGYN hospitalists on maternal and neonatal outcomes. And what we found was a reduction of about 15 fold odds in inductions of labor and 17 times odds in preterm births. These findings really matter because the care delivery models for labor and deliveries are rapidly evolving without much of an evidence base. And as we think about the best ways to provide coverage on labor and delivery, understanding the impact of these changes in coverage will be very important to op obtain optimal maternal and neonatal outcomes. Thank you.